Not all English that you hear in a workplace is business English. I've titled this next lesson Office Romance to remind you that in any workplace there's usually some form of gossip. I hope you enjoy this lesson and that you find the content useful. Conversation Don't freak out or anything, but I think Dan is going to ask you out. Me? Uh-huh. He told Rob that he'd like to get to know you better. Oh, no. This is the last thing I need. Office romances complicate everything. I hear you. I find it awkward working with Peter ever since I turned him down for a date. Expressions Freak out or freak someone out. This is a phrasal verb and it means to suddenly become upset. Now by upset we can mean angry, frightened, even panicked. It's a strong emotion, so if you freak out you're having a strong reaction. We can say, I freaked out, or that freaked me out. Here's a variation. Don't freak out or anything. When speaking informally, or anything, is sometimes added to a request in the negative. Another example is, not just don't laugh, but don't laugh or anything, but I'm going to show you my baby pictures. Ask someone out another phrasal verb and it means to invite someone out on a date so I can ask you out you can ask me out get to know someone better this means to become better acquainted with another person you learn more about the person and become closer as a result Now this expression is used to stress how undesirable and or how unnecessary something is. Last thing I need. So for example, let's say I'm having a bad day. So if I'm already having a bad day, I don't need a headache. I can say, a headache is the last thing I need. The last thing I need is a headache. This expression is used to agree with and or express understanding of someone's feelings. We say, I hear you, or in fast speech, I hear ya. This often is a reply when you're listening to a complaint that you fully understand because you've experienced it yourself. Let's say your classmate complains about the long bus ride to school. You say, I hear ya. It took me a whole hour to get here. Turn someone down another phrasal verb and it means to say no to someone's offer request or invitation often it's an invitation for a date changes in pronunciation Dan is gonna ask you out going to often changes to gonna in fast and formal speech he told Rob that he'd like to get to know you better in fast speech, too, sounds like the O is either missing or has changed to the unstressed a. Uh. So not to, but t or t. To get to know you better. Do you hear the difference? I hear you. You often changes to ya in fast and formal speech. So the expression is, I hear you. I turned him down for a date. For often changes to fur in fast speech. It's unstressed and it's like the ending of my name, Jennifer. Stressed words can create drama and reflect emotion. In our conversation we had this statement, oh no, this is the last thing I need. Office romances complicate everything. Stressed words can also be used for clarification. For example, you heard, I find it awkward working with Peter ever since I turned him down for a date. The stress on him means that I'm talking about Peter and not Dan and not anybody else. Changes in grammar. Uh-huh. Uh-huh is commonly used for yes in informal English. Other substitutes for yes include yep and mm-hmm. Now let's listen again to the conversation. 
don't freak out or anything, but I think Dan is going to ask you out. Me? Uh-huh. He told Rob that he'd like to get to know you better. Oh, no. This is the last thing I need. Office romances complicate everything. I hear you. I find it awkward working with Peter ever since I turned him down for a date. Now let's try an exercise. Which expression had the following meaning? To suddenly become upset. If you remember, then let's put the expression back in context. Jane said, Don't freak out or anything. Which expression had the following meaning? To invite someone out on a date. If you remember, then put the expression back in context. Jane said, Don't freak out or anything, but I think Dan is going to ask you out. Which expression had the following meaning? To become better acquainted with another person. If you remember, Put it back in context. Bella said, Me? And Jane replied, Uh huh. He told Rob that he'd like to get to know you better. Which expression is used to stress how undesirable and or unnecessary something is? If you remember, put the expression back in context. Bella said, Oh no. This is the last thing I need. Office romances complicate everything. Which expression had the following meaning? I know what you mean. Put it back in context. Jane said, I hear you. I find it awkward working with Peter. Which expression had the following meaning? To say no to someone's offer, request, or invitation. Do you remember? If so, then put it back in context and make sure your verb is in the simple past. Jane said, I hear you. I find it awkward working with Peter ever since I turned him down for a date. Now let's do a final listening and see how much more you understand. Don't freak out or anything, but I think Dan is going to ask you out. Me? Uh-huh. He told Rob that he'd like to get to know you better. Oh no. This is the last thing I need. Office romances complicate everything. I hear you. I find it awkward working with Peter ever since I turned him down for a date. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and happy studies.